Half of all debt is medical. There's a trillion dollars of debt that is unpayable and won't be paid. But it'll continue to be collected on until I abolish it. This is Craig and Tico. In 2014, he founded RIP Medical Debt with his co-founder, Jerry Ashton. We're a charity that buys medical debt and we abolish it. It doesn't make sense for America to have people burdened with $1 trillion worth of medical debt. You and I are one accident or one illness away from being destroyed financially. Before Jerry and Craig were debt abolishers, they were debt collectors, a job they didn't necessarily enjoy. I never liked the debt collection business. I was in a family business. I ended up starting to make money early, and then it was so hard to not make money anymore, so I stayed in it. As a bill collector, collecting millions of dollars in medical associated bills in my career, now all of a sudden, I'm reformed. I am a predatory giver. We can thank Occupy Wall Street uh, for that. Okay, let's back up a bit. Occupy was a global progressive protest movement centered around social and economic inequality. The first Occupy protest was Occupy Wall Street. It started in New York City in Zuccotti Park, right outside of Jerry's office. And I said, that looks interesting. I come from the 60s, so I wanted to see if this was real. And I decided I wanted to search for the heroes. I wanted to find the people that were there that were going to make a difference. And I found a lot of them. Then Occupy people noticed that there was a bill collector in their midst. So one day I was asked to attend a meeting of Occupy Wall Street, and they said that they had an idea they wanted to run past me. That idea was the Rolling Jubilee, a crowdfunded effort to raise $50,000 to purchase $1 million of defaulted debt and abolish it. Occupy wanted to know if Jerry thought their plan was a good idea. I didn't think much of it. A million dollars worth of medical debt in my world isn't even a rounding error. I think it'll probably be seen as a gesture. They said, well, let's take a look at it through our eyes. If your medical debt were in that portfolio and forgiven, do you think that you would have considered it to be a gesture? And I said, what do you need? What Occupy needed was expertise. They needed people who understood the debt collection industry. So Jerry called Craig, and together the pair worked with Occupy to make the idea of the Rolling Jubilee a reality. Instead of raising $50,000, Occupy was able to raise $700,000. That enabled Jerry and Craig to abolish over $40 million in medical, student, and payday loan debt. But then something unexpected happened. So one day they came up to us and they said, well, we're gonna close it down. We're going in another direction. And Craig and I looked at each other and we said, we can't let that happen. We were kind of hooked. We said, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. We'll probably be able to raise two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year like these Occupy Wall Street people did. It wasn't true. <laughs> it's the hardest thing we ever did. Eventually, Jerry and Craig were able to figure out how to raise enough money to start buying and abolishing medical debt, due in large part to this guy. It is pretty clear by now, debt buying is a grimy business and badly needs more oversight. Because as it stands, any idiot can get into it. And I can prove that to you because I'm an idiot and we started a debt buying company. Which he used to abolish almost $15 million worth of debt through RIP. When John Oliver brought us to everybody's attention, what became a serious attempt to make a difference became an amazing movement. We've helped over 250,000 people get out of over $600 million of medical debt. So it took us a while to ramp up, but now we're gonna reach a billion dollars this year. So watch out. Hey everybody, thank you for watching this free think video about RIP medical debt. If you like videos like this, check out all our other ones. I think you'll like those too. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.